Where we are in the process is final editing. We have everything except today's material in, and we're putting music to it, we're putting graphics in, and the final results of the science experiment at the dog park. All of that is going in at the last minute. We're right at the most stressful time of the process, so it's it will take time for us to reflect on, on everything that we've learned. We've experienced um, a lot of interesting twists and turns as the story has evolved. Um, the Geiger drone had its flaws and now we're, we've moved on to the, our Geiger dog, Lola. The Geiger drone is, is what uh, River tried first and it seemed like a reasonable way to get a lot of data at the dog park over huge areas so you could and also inaccessible areas but the problem was you in order to get accurate readings it had to be about a foot constantly above the ground river and his buddies came up with this suggestion of using a dog at the dog park genius and now he's going to share the data today with his professor dr john harvey Hello. I am so super proud of everybody who's come together to work on this project. It has been a crazy seven weeks. We've gotten so much done in such a short amount of time. My role has been like definitely very various. I've done a lot of the archive, like most some archival shots, and I've helped find a lot of archival shots and sort of giving ideas as to maybe how it can be bettered. In. Um, I've helped with audio on a few of the interviews. Um, I've helped kind of get some footage. I've hung posters around town. It's been cool working with students from other fields of study at Fort Lewis. I think it'll just add to my resume. Um, ideally, after school, I want to uh, write as a journalist. But I think having that well-rounded, um, knowing how to like do video stuff helps a lot too. So. And it's just been cool to learn. We'll be screening it Tuesday at the Powerhouse Science Center. It's the world premiere alongside of uh, Rocky Mountain PBS's regular Colorado Experience series that did a bigger picture on uranium throughout Colorado. And ours is specifically on Durango. Well, it's a great time for the students to m meet and mingle with their audience so that they can reap the rewards of their hard work. And I'm looking forward to networking and sharing with the community what we've done. But I think it's new for a lot of the students to be on, on that level in, uh, in the public eye and, and talk to people face to face about what they've done.